Odyssey now has hundreds of new exclusive music stations for you to discover your new summer soundtrack. Get moving with worthy workouts for a cardio sesh fueled by today's top artists. Hang in with your crew? Throw it back with picnic party for old school jams for your cookout. Or sail away with Odyssey's new yacht rock station, Jugger Yacht. For summer barbecues, road trips, or relaxing poolside. Hundreds of new exclusive stations, plus all your favorite local radio stations and podcasts. It's all on Odyssey. Brought to you by Macy's, Geico, and Coke Zero Sugar. Odyssey now has hundreds of new exclusive music stations for you to discover your new summer soundtrack. Get moving with worthy workouts for a cardio sesh fueled by today's top artists. Hang in with your crew? Throw it back with picnic party for old school jams for your cookout. Or sail away with Odyssey's new yacht rock station, Jugger Yacht. There are hundreds of new exclusive stations to check out today. For summer barbecues, road trips, or relaxing poolside. For every move, every interest, every passion. By By Odyssey. Odyssey. All right, we love this guy. We were supposed to play in his outing, golf outing, uh, about a month or so ago for logistical reasons. I couldn't swing it. Neither could you. We wanted to. We got the invite. We wanted to show up for this guy. That's how much we like him. You obviously play with him. I mean, you guys you guys sweated together. Uh, and, of course, I uh, I gave David Deal his broadcasting career. David <laughs> Deal is with us here on Tiki and Tierney CBS Sport. What's up, big boy? Two-time champ of the Giants. How you doing, buddy? Happy Tuesday, fellas, and uh, unfortunately, but fortunately, both of you guys are in luck. Uh, Canoe Brook, where we were supposed to have the golf outing for Claremont Medical Center, was flooded on July 12th, so we actually had to postpone it Talk to, me. to Monday, October 25th. Talk so to me. definitely invited, and anybody out there that wants to get involved, go to Clara, C-L-A-R-A, golf.org talk yeah, to me clara c-l-a-r-a golf.org we'll check that out nice hey, that's deal. awesome that's great it's not awesome that it was flooded no but by the way that was the same day i think that my because it's near my house that my basement flooded. <laughs> that's that sounds <laughs> like the same, the same time, time period <laughs> well uh but gives you always th- the great ones adjust exactly that's there right you go. is joe judge a great one is, is joe judge we both like joe and joe's had an interesting summer the Kelvin Benjamin thing, which I think is nothing. That's more on Benjamin, not on Judge, obviously. You know, flipping out when Daniel Jones was pinned at the bottom of the pile, which I agree with. <laughs> I'm a Joe Judge fan. You've been around the team a lot. Yeah. What have you well, seen were you this there? summer? Were you there, Dave? Uh, I wasn't there the day of the fight. I was there yesterday covering the practice, and today I was there doing our training camp show for Sirius XM NFL Radio. So I've been there through the, the last two weeks. And, you know, obviously you don't want to get your quarterback pinned at the bottom of a fight in a pile. But at the same time, have we ever heard a training camp brawl get so much publication and announcement and attention ever? No. I, I got a story for you guys. When I broke into the starting lineup after 21 sitting next to UBT and Kerry Collins pushed for me the minute that I got drafted by the Giants, every single day of training camp, I got into a fight, whether it was <laughs> Big Keith Hamilton Ooh. or Cornelius Griffin. And I'll never forget getting to week Riff. one of the and NFL boys. regular season. We get done with nine on seven. We get done with blitz period. And I'm looking around, and I go to Hammer. I'm like, Hammer, what, what, no fighting today? He's like, hey, you passed the test. You're one of us now. So <laughs> really? To see if I would do it on a day-in, day-out basis. But I love the response by the players like Sterling Shepard and Logan Ryan taking ownership of that team and taking better, veteran leadership seriously. So, you know, I, I love that they sit here and say, well, you know, it's old school. It doesn't work. Phil Judge is 39 years old, and when you see him on the day-in and day-out basis, yeah, he's tough as hell on them on the field. But off of the field, he knows about their family. He has a relationship with them. And good, bad, and different, you want to know where you stand, and that's exactly what he does with this. Yeah, play. no, it is awesome. I remember those fights, Dave. It was fun. I, I, I told BT, because BT and I talked about fighting that the day that those were happening, because it also happened up in Detroit with uh, yes. with our yeah. other former teammate, Dan Campbell. And I was like, BT, where do you think I was with those fights? And he was like, where, in the middle of it? I was like, nah, man. I was standing on the sideline <laughs> as far away as possible. Doing a crossword puzzle. <laughs> exactly. I was like, oh, let me, let me pull out my crossword puzzle. There. Exactly. <laughs> I was not a fighter. Dave, uh, Saquon was out for the first time yesterday. I believe so. You may may have yep. seen him. What's the um, what's the feeling around him? Um, you know the expectation for when he'll be actually ready. I know he's practicing now, but we don't know when he's going to be ready. And I think he's a key cog to this this experiment, this growth of this Giants offense. Where do we feel about Saquon Barkley? I think he's in tremendous shape right now. Obviously, everybody saw the picture of the quads and, and quadzilla and Saquon and all the names that they made up. But if you think about it, if you get hurt. 
at least you want to do it earlier in the season. He did it week two last year. They're able to let the swelling go down before he got surgery and had the full time to rehab. And the thing that everybody has to take into account, he's coming off of an injury, and this is a season unlike any other that any of us have experienced because it's a 17-game schedule and season this year. That's a completely different grind, especially when you talk about the impact and the hits that a running back takes. So I think that they were smart during the offseason to go get Devontae Booker to be that backup who can be a role player if Saquon's not ready or 100% week one. But we know that he is the catalyst for this football team and for their offense, and this will be the true test when he's back fully healthy if Daniel Jones is the franchise quarterback or not. So we're talking to David Deal. I know we'll get more deeply into Jones for sure. We'll bounce around the team and maybe even the division. 11 years in the NFL, two-time Super Bowl champ, Double D with us here on Tiki and Tierney. Yeah, you mentioned him, Daniel Jones. He's, uh, I mean, we talk about the fight, but the reason he was at the bottom of the fight is because he jumped right into it. I mean, you got yeah. you got to love that, though, right? No doubt about it. I mean, he definitely is, shows that toughness that people really don't see because he has that same even keel feel about him like Eli Manning does. But his teammates absolutely love him. He gets intense. He's fired up. And you know this season with him coming into his second year of this offense but third in the NFL, they surrounded him with all the talent that he could possibly have. The Giants last year had the second highest drop rate at the wide receiver position. So going out and getting Kadarius Tony to be that guy, the gadget guy, who could do the fly sweeps or the bubble screens and can take a five-yard slant 30 yards downfield and be explosive. Kenny Galladay getting that big 50-50 vertical guy that can stretch the field and just has that catch radius like we did when I played with Plaxico Burris. Sterling Shepard looks the best that I think I've ever seen him in his career right now during camp. He has absolutely lightened it up and came in with a bounce in the steps. And then you think about Darius Slayton and John Ross competing for that other spot vertical guys, deep threat guys that can bring the top off. So now if you're thinking about stretching the field vertically, now you have a guessing game on defense. If you want to play a small nickel package, okay, we're going to run Saquon downhill at a numbers game and at a smaller box. Okay, you want to bring a bigger guy in, we're going to put a linebacker up against Kadarius Toney or Evan Ingram on the other side and utilize that as an extension of the run game. So that's where I truly think this offense, as long as this offensive line continues to gel together, can have that type of season where Daniel Jones could be a this this effective franchise player. Yeah, I'm optimistic about the Giants. I like Joe. I, I like what the offense could grow into. I thought the defensive you know moves personnel wise, almost every one of them worked out a year ago. Gettleman kind of salvaged uh, the reputation a bit. Giant fans were obviously. I know the O line still a bit of a work in progress for sure, but Giants could be. Well, they're one of my interesting teams here, and it's also probably the most interesting division. Teak and I spent the first, uh, I don't know, 1.30, 20 minutes or so on Dak Prescott. Hard Knocks begins tonight. He hasn't thrown since July 28th, so he's still on ice. It's, it's the middle of August, basically. And you look at Washington's situation, the Eagles seem to be a step or two behind in the rebuild. Do you view this as 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 a good division or or just a potentially crowded division? Because as both you and Tiki know, there's a big difference between the two. Well, I I think, number one, when you look at this Dallas Cowboys offense, I mean, they are built to put up points. You know, Zeke Elliott coming back even healthier and, more importantly, with an offensive line that's intact. But we can't forget that this is a defense that gave up 473 points last year, which was a franchise worst. So you think about that aspect. If if that offense can't get up to speed, that defense, who knows down the stretch if they're going to be able to hold up and if they can really get after a passer. We all think that Philadelphia right now is in a rebuild and regrow mode. And then when you think about the Washington football team, it's what front Ryan Fitzpatrick are you going to get? Is he going to be the game manager, something he really hasn't been in his career? Or is he going to be a gunslinger because he can lean on that defense in that front four that can get after the quarterback and drop seven and really play coverage in that Jack Del Rio defense? So I think those are the intriguing things when you sit here and you look at the division. Yeah, it is. I mean, the Cowboys in particular, because BT and I brought them up because they're on hard knocks tonight, and it's kind of a lot of pressure on... on, 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 Well, last time the Dallas Cowboys were on the hard knocks, I remember Jerry Jones saying, getting his ring finger ready. Yeah. Oh, God. I believe we were the ones who took the home the ring that week. That's right. And it seems like every time he talks about winning, the Giants would go down there and beat them. Like, first, it was was a series of seasons, I think like three or four. On Sunday Night Football. Uh, Yeah. Yeah. The Giants would always win down there. Always win down there. Um, You know, but Dak Prescott, he's had this shoulder injury now. It's going on two weeks. 
And I'm not, maybe they're not, they're not worried about it, but from the outside looking in, how can you not be worried about Dak, Dak Prescott at this time? Well, I think just because we're sitting here, we're looking at August 10th, and it's a long way to week one. Now, if we start inching into August 25th, 26th, and he's still not practicing, and he's fully not up to speed and, and full go participation, I think that's when you can start to worry about this Dallas Cowboys offense because you're not only losing a player that brings productivity to that offense and runs everything, but he brings the leadership to that football team. I think that's something that not a lot of people talk about. Yeah. That when Dak Prescott went out last year and when he was injured, it was a complete blow, not only to the offense, but the defense not having Superman on the other side that think that they could get out of games because they had number four at quarterback. Mm. You know, why – uh you know, I, I gotta, I gotta be honest with you. I, I don't, I don't like. I was in the stadium the other night, all right, for the Jets open practice, green and white, and I, I don't, I don't, I really like you, and and you know, I love my partner. I got a lot of buddies who are Giants fans, but I, I, I don't like when they do well because it complicates my life. <laughs> it complicates my life, dude. It makes me. It adds to my misery. Uh, I and I I'm going to reiterate it. I, I actually think the Giants are on the way up. I think for the first time in years, they actually feel like their DNA is beginning to resemble the Giants that won games. You know, yeah. and going back to the '80s as well. Uh, no doubt about it. I mean, when you look at last year, think about the play of the defense. That's Giants football. Now, if on the offensive side of the ball. They can play complementary football and get the ground game going and build the play action passing game off of it. I mean, that was the key to two of our Super Bowl wins. No doubt. All right there, big boy. Work on that drive. Have you been playing at all or no? Yeah, I've just been uh, going out and doing some charity ones. You know, if I get three, four, three hours, the last thing that I'm doing is going to spend it on the golf course. So I'm making sure that I'm staying steady and getting my practice when needed. But it's the NFL training camp, and it's the NFL season. You know I'm all in on this. Oh, he always right. he, Even the way he delivers the most benign <laughs> statement. He, I could see him sweating. I could see saliva flying out of his mouth. I could just imagine this guy in the huddle. An absolute awesome teammate. Dave, uh, not that I would know, but from what Tiki has said. Great job, buddy. Good, ta- good talking to you again. My pleasure, fellas, and I look forward to seeing everybody on October 25th. The COVID-19 pandemic showed us how a microscopic virus could upend our lives. There is so much out there that we need to understand. But for every threat, there are heroes working at the edges of science and policy to protect us. I'm Dr. Abdul El Sayed, former Detroit Health Director and host of Crooked Media's America Dissected. Every episode, I talk to the doctors, scientists, culture makers, and policy leaders who are working out new ways to protect us against our biggest threats. New episodes of America Dissected every Tuesday. Listen on Odyssey, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. On Pod Save the World, we want to be your cheat sheet for global events. My name is Tommy Vitor, and each week, my co-host Ben Rhodes and I break down the biggest stories from around the world. Ben and I both worked on President Obama's national security staff, and we'll introduce you to the activists, politicians, and journalists who can help us understand what's going on around the world, what it means for the United States, and what it's like being inside the White House Situation Room during a crisis. Listen on Odyssey, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your pods. Odyssey now has hundreds of new exclusive music stations for you to discover your new summer soundtrack. Get moving with worthy workouts for a cardio sesh fueled by today's top artists. Hang in with your crew? Throw it back with Picnic Party for old school jams for your cookout. Or sail away with Odyssey's new yacht rock station, Jugger Yacht. There are hundreds of new exclusive stations to check out today. For summer barbecues. Road trips. Or relaxing poolside. For every move, every interest, every passion. By Odyssey. Odyssey.